Welcome to lecture four. In this video, we're going to create a reusable data dictionary describing all the aspects of the data that we get from our sensor. So what do we know about the data? We know that we get temperature, humidity, salinity, and ambient light values. And also a timestamp is included and the ID of the device. But we also have metadata. Metadata is information about the data. So for instance, for the temperature sensor data, we know that the field that it is stored in the data file is called air temperature. We can also describe how it was obtained. In this case, it's the temperature of the air above the soil in degrees Celsius. We can also explicitly say that the unit of the numbers is degrees Celsius and not Fahrenheit or Kelvin. We can define a sensible range of the data. So for inside, a sensible range would be minus 20 until 60 degrees Celsius. We also know that the data is continuous, meaning it can take any numerical value. And also that the number we get from the sensor is a floating point number. That means it's not a whole number, but contains also numbers after the decimal point. We can summarize the metadata into a data dictionary. So we create an object called data dictionary. And within that object, we create, for instance, the air temperature as an object. And within that object, we have a list of fields where we describe our metadata. At the end, we export this object data dictionary so we can use it in different parts of our program. I refer back to it. In Visual Studio Code, you find in the data dictionary JS file that I have included every field in the data dictionary, including the humidity and ambient light. Now in the main JS file, what we want to do is import a data dictionary so that we can use it. We use the console log to print the data dictionary into our console. When we open the browser, we find that we find the data dictionary and the fields in our console, which means that we can use the metadata in our code.